It's been more than 130 years since the world adopted a standardized way to measure time. The GMT, or the Greenwich Mean Time, is the international standard for timekeeping. So what's the story behind the GMT? Beyond's Mandy Clark reports. On October 13, 1884, the small village of Greenwich, southeast of London, was literally put on the map. Greenwich Mean Time became universal. And from then on, standard times were all calculated from its distance to Greenwich. Time is a rare commodity in today's world, but have you ever wondered how the world agreed in the first place on how to measure time? The story dates back to 1880, when Greenwich Mean Time became a guide for most of the world. The GMT was first proposed by engineer and inventor Sanford Fleming and the United Kingdom was the first to standardize time. The British Railway Company was among the first movers to adopt the GMT in 1847. It was in the year 1880 that Greenwich Mean Time was declared Britain's legal standard time. The Greenwich Meridian was recommended as the prime meridian of the world in 1884. There were two reasons for that. The United States had already adopted Greenwich as a measuring point for its own national time zone. The other reason was the power of the shipping industry. For by the turn of the century, 72% of the world's commerce depended on sea charts, which used Greenwich as the prime meridian. But it was more than just measuring time. It also split the globe into east and west hemispheres, just like the equator splits it north and south, and directly opposite the prime meridian at 180 degrees longitude is the international date line. Greenwich Mean Time is also referred to as the coordinated universal time, and the prime meridian actually crosses through the crosshairs of the transit circular telescope right here at the Royal Observatory. Mandy Clark, we on Greenwich. That's a wrap on this show. We're leaving you as always with stories from across the world in pictures, gravitas images. Thanks very much for watching. Have a good weekend.